Ito yung workshop natin. Ipagpapatuloy natin yung ating module at uh, pumunta tayo doon kung paano kayo magtuturo. Paano naman kayo magtuturo pag pagbaba ninyo sa komunidad. So kahapon, nalaman nyo kung ano ang tuberculosis, ano ang role ng mga frontliners natin, ang inyong role and responsibilities. Nalaman din ninyo kung paano kayo mag-compute, kung paano din kayo uh, mag-targeting. No? Ngayon, alam na natin lahat. Bababa ngayon tayo sa komunidad. Paano kayo ngayon magtuturo? Okay? Yung mga ibang slides po na ipapakita ko sa inyo ay meron na kayo diyan. Pero yung mga ibang slides ay uh, ginawa ko para mapalating yung ating uh, pagkakarintindi. Okay? Now. Let's go to our training and facilitation. Now, pag sinabi natin training at facilitation, ang objective po natin dito sa ating session na to ay are to explain the purpose of learning in health. Paano po tayo magdi-discuss ng basic concept o yung basic facts about tuberculosis? Ano po ang purpose ng ating pag-uusapan? Okay? Explain yung mga importante konsepto tungkol sa topic ng TB and of course to describe facilitating techniques. Ano yung pwedeng maging technique pagdating po pag natuturo kayo ng TV education? Yung iba po dito ay mga teachers. Sino po daw mga teachers? Ayan. Very good. Matutulungan niyo po kami dito. No? Ayan. Ako po sa profession ko, hindi po ako teacher. Okay? Pero nagturo po ako, feeling po lang, nagturo po ako ng college sa College of Medicine sa UP mga ilang taon din laang yun. Hanggang yun, hindi naman natutulog pa rin ako sa seminaryo, sa theology. Okay? Pero again, we go back to the basic, no? basic tenets noong training and facilitation. No? Now, pag sinabi yung training, we point here six points to remember. We are teaching adults. Ang inututuruan po, kandaan nyo, kayo ay trainers. Magtuturo kayo na 30 na katao sa inyong parokya. At katandaan nyo, sila ay adults. Medyo may edad na po iyan. Okay? Hindi sila yung mga bata na mga bata, pakitaas ang kanang kamay. Okay? Adult ang tuturuan. No other our assumptions. Adults need to know why they are being learning. Ang mga adult, dapat sinasayo mo lagi ang dahilan bakit kailangan matuto. At kadalasan, nag-umpisa tayo on the basic facts. Katulad na, ang TV, maraming namamatay sa TV. Basic facts yun. Okay? Bakit kailangan talaga natin ang kaalaman sa TV? Dapat, you have to catch the learning process, ang rason. Number two, they are responsible for their own decision and for their own learning. This is usually self-management and self-direction. Ang mga adult, katulad po ninyo, you can already go up doon sa ating learning process. Third one, ang mga adult po ay may mga karanasan. At maroon mo na magproseso yun ng karanang karanasan. At mas maganda, kadalasan, yung karanasan ang pinagagalingan natin. Pangapat, there is readiness to learn. Tandaan ninyo, pagbalik ninyo sa inyong mga komunidad, mga volunteer yan. Ibig sabihin, Ma'am, Sir, Father, Sis, Brother, ako po gusto kong mag mag-aral. There is readiness to learn. Next, there is relevance to their lives. The learning process is relevant. Para mo katulad ninyo, yung mga iba dito nagsasabi, Father, yung aking anak po ay nagka-TV. Relevant, di ba? Yung aking kamag-anak po ay namatay sa TV. Relevant. And therefore, what, what I mean here is, always connected 
to true to life experiences, to true to life stories. That becomes relevant. Okay? And of course, learn their motivation. Ano ba yung magiging inner or intrinsic reason why they are there? Motivation is very, very important. Hindi ako sasama pagiging volunteer kasi gusto kong maging... Gusto kong maging... Sikat. Pero gusto kong matuto on tuberculosis kasi... What? Gusto kong maprotektahan ang aking mga anak, ang aking mga mahal sa buhay. Okay? Now, what are the points to remember? We are teaching adults. Take note of this. Training. What is training? Training is a process of helping people learn to do tasks. I-train mo yung tao para matuto siya gawin ang kanyang dapat gawin. Katulad po ninyo, ang ating ginagawa dito ay training on TV educators. Kahapon pa tayo nagpumpisa. Lahat ng proseso ang pinagdadaanan natin, these are all training. No? And what do we get from trainings? New ideas. Tama ba? Ah, bago. May mga bago pala tungkol sa TV. Yung spiritong collection, spiritong follow-up, kung paano mag-compute. New ways and techniques of doing things. Ngayon, alam na natin kung ilan ang ating hahanapin. Tatlo, lima, trenta. Kasi alam natin mag-compute. New tasks assigned. Hindi lang kayo katikista, hindi lang kayo MBG, pero ngayon, TV educator na kayo. At, new assignments given sa pamamagitan ng pagpapala ng Diyos. Okay? Now, when you talk of new ideas in TV, ano ang ating mga bago natutunan? TV dots. Right? Importante ang dots. Cure, cough to cure, pathway. Ano pa? New treatments. Meron tayo ng MDR-TP. Siguro ng mga dati dati, hindi natin natutunan tungkol sa MDR. O ngayon may papasok na bago, XDRTP, Extremely Drug Resistant Tuberculosis. Meron tayong mga kaso, gano'n. So kung makikita natin, these are new ideas. Second, new ways to gather techniques like gather in TB care. Greed. Meron ka, later on, we will know that. Itong gather in TB care. Using job aids for TB education. This is my topic later kung paano gumamit ang flip charts, kung saan po posisyon, ang bosses, kung paano mag-modulate ng bosses. Ay, ganyan, Father. Ano pa ba minsan? Pag hindi pa ako pare, <laughs> pag hindi ako pare, nagsasideline ako, nagbibigay ako on organizational development. That's, that's the other part of me. Sa OT naman siya. On facilitation, on modulation of voice, also on tool toolbox toolkits in trainings. What are the new tasks? You are not only katikista, pero community organizer. You mga iba na ka council, di ba? O anak, makinig ka. Has been said ni Lola. You iba yung educator. Pwede mong pagsamahin na habang pinag-uusapan mo ang TV, ipasok mo si Lazaro. Habang pinag-uusapan mo ang TV, ipasok mo ang mabuting sa balita mo. Di ba? Sinasabuhay mo yun. Yung assignments given, some would be coordinators later on and some would be supervisors later on. Now, what are the three basic ways of learning? One, receiving information. Another, seeing an example. And the third, practicing a skill. These are the three ways of learning. Receiving an information. Katulad ng ginagawa ko ngayon. Sender, receiver. Information. Seeing an example. Katulad ng ginagawa nyo kanina, nag-compute kayo, that is seeing an example how to compute. Practicing skill. Later on, mag-workshop tayo. Pipili ako sa inyo ng apat na magtuturo dito sa harapan 
tungkol sa tuberculosis. Ganun, padet, oo. Pagkatapos yung inubos yung suman, hindi kayo magtuturo. <laughs> Di ba? So maganda, tingnan natin yan. Okay. Take note, practice is always needed to learn to do a task. Practice is always needed to learn to do a task. Whatever your profession is, practice will always be good. We have this goal of learning. Do you have this goal? We tend to remember, and this is our level of involvement. Sabi nila, pag ikaw daw ay nagbabasa laang, 10% lang ang nariritain. Pag ikaw ay nakikinig, 20% lang ang nariritain. Pag ikaw naman daw ay nakikita mo, 30% lang ang nariritain. Aha! Pero tingnan natin to. 50% of what you see and hear, katulad ng pag-inunod ka ng telebisyon. Diba? Pumunta si Sander sa bahay. Kagabi. Wala doon si Agnes. Nakikita mo yung TV, nakikinig ka pa. 50% nariritain. Ah! Look at an exhibit, tapos kina-explain. 50%. You watch a demonstration, you see it done. 50%. Pero, pag ikaw mismo, you participate in the discussion. Nag-release ka ng kamay, nag, uh, what they call, you share your experiences. 70% nariritain. Galing, ano? Ngayon, when you give a talk, kayo mismo, you give a talk and make a presentation, 90% maririting. But when you simulate it, simulate an experience, and do the real thing, nandito ka sa harapan, ginagawa mo siya, then, 90 to 100% maririting. So, hindi lang read, hindi lang ears, hindi lang sa words, pero dapat makikita, naririnig, kahit kumuposisyon ka sa iba, kahit para makikita na, <laughs> to cure. Bakit? Mas maritin yun ng mga nakikinig sa'yo habang ikaw ay nag-TV education. Ginagamit mo yung platform mo dito sa harapan. Diba? Kaya, oh, uh, uh, kaf. Pangit dito. Pero dito, cure. Magaganda dito. Wala akong sinabi pa. <laughs> Nakikita po natin yun. So you can see now the contrast or the differences when you do now facilitation or training. Okay? Kaya nga, pag minsan diba, dapat you move. Gumagalaw ka dapat. Para yung mata ng mga nakikinig sa'yo, gumagalaw din yan. Okay? Kaya nga, ang luwang ng ating, ng ating harapan, kasi dapat gumagalaw ka. Susundan ka ng mga tao. Kasi kung lagi nandun ka lang, at doon lang siya, makakatulog yan. Pero pag ikaw ay gumagalaw, hindi yan makakatulog because there is what? Movement. Naintindihan po? Kahit na sa boses, that's very, very important. Anyway, later on, I'll give you a small input about voice. Okay? Now, Confucius said, Tell me, and I will forget. Show me, and I will remember. Okay? Involve me, and I will know. Pag sabi ka lang ng sabi, makakalimutan. Pero pag pinakita mo, ang maalaala. Pero pag sila ay sinama mo, mas aangkinin nila yung sinasabi. Okay? When I hear, I forget. When I hear and see, I remember a little. When I hear, see, and discuss with someone else, I begin to understand. But when I hear, I see, discuss and do, I acquire knowledge and skill. But when I teach to another, I master. Beautiful. So kayo, yung dalawang araw din dito, tatlong araw bukas, okay, hindi nyo lang narinig, hindi nyo lang nakita, hindi lang tayo nagtalakayan, hindi lang nyo lang ginawa. Pero, ituturo nyo siya sa ibang tao, then you will master it. Okay? Now, What are the common training methods that you use? One, 
example or information. Ito, lagi tayo dito eh. Kadalasan, kahit na sa catechism, when you give catechisms, when you give now in the you know, sessions in the parish, lagi lecture, reading, okay? written or oral instruction. Ang involved lang po ay hearing and reading. But when you practice or, or you do examples, you give examples, totoong buhay, then what happens here, you try to demonstrate, you put pictures, you write examples, you use films. Katulad ng ang pinapakita namin sa inyong mga, mga videos, totoong buhay yan. Then you see, practice, role play example. Eh, Magro-role play kayo. Kung nyo kanyari, ikaw, uh, doktora, may ubo. Si doktora ang iyong sister. Okay? Siya naman ang iyong uh, doktora. So, mag-role play. Then that is more, what? For uh, its practice. Then you do it. Okay? A lot of learning styles. It says here, adult learning styles are as follows. 40% of our adults are visual learners. Sino po dito yung gusto mo pag natututo ka, may nakikita ka, pakitasan ka may? Good. Karamihan po sa atin talaga, pag gusto natin matuto, may nakikita tayo. Kaya na, makikita nyo, effective ang PowerPoint presentation. Kasi, you see it. Karamihan ng tao ngayon, visual. Yung mga iba naman, auditory. Ito yung mga may, may ibang ng radyo. Diba? Habang namamalan siya, nakikinig kay siya, Teddy. Pinubok ako ng asawa ko. Boom! Boom! Aray! Aray! Ah. Ang kinagamit mo lang ay tenga. Diba? Pero pag pagsamahin mo, tenga at saka yung nakita, nasa pelikula na siya. Okay? Si Tia Deli. Ay, ganyan pala yung tulad siya, Deli. Ang ganda pala niya. Pinubok ang asawa. Boom! Boom! Aray! Nakita mo, narinig mo pa. Okay? So, ang ating proseso, ng, ng learning process or the learning process would be faster if there will be more senses involved. Okay? Let's go to facilitation. Ito na yung tinasabi ko sa inyo how to facilitate things. Okay? Now, facilitating learning is a quality of learning environment in which it is influenced by a variety of complementing factors that provide a setting conducive to the objectives of the training. Like for example, kahapon, hindi ganito yung arrangement natin. Ang arrangement natin ay group 1, group 2, group 3, group 4. Bago kayo pumasok dito, I ask the groups to put tables together. Am I right? Because that would facilitate the next activity. Sa tingin nyo ba, pag ganito yung arrangement natin, effective ba yung ating magsusulat sa Manila paper? That is what we call facilitating. You have to facilitate things so that you can reach your objective. Facilitators are responsible for planning and organizing the training environment to match the objectives and needs of the training. In other words, kung kayo po ay magtuturo sa inyong mga parokya, bago kayo mag-TV education, maghanda kayo. Dapat una, Titignan nyo kung saan nyo gagawin yung TV education. That is very, very important. Alam nyo yung space. Okay? Alam nyo yung mga gamit. Hindi yung, nandun ka na sa harapan, at pag nasa harapan ka, doon ka lang maghanap, may whiteboard ba? Ah, ah. Or when you are facilitating, hindi mo alam kung ano yung susunod. At doon ka pala naghahanap ng mga resources. That's why preparation is really important. Okay? Now, what are the learning principles of this? One, instruction should be performance-based. Instruction should teach the training tasks he or she will be expected to do on the job. Ibig kong sabihin, you give proper instructions. 
Pag hindi nyo nabigay ang proper direction, instruction, magkakagulo. Naranasan nyo na ba yun? Diba? Pag malaya, magkakagulo. Kahit magaling ka pang, magaling kang speaker, pero pag ang iyong instruction ay hindi malinaw, okay? Memorize mo ang tuberculosis. But if your instruction then there are not clear, then you'll have a problem. Okay? Here, next one. Number two, active participation increases learning. Okay? For the past two days, ako po'y natutuwa, kaya pag minsan, pag nagtataas kayo ng kamay, tapos yung mga iba nagtataas, nagtataas, this is what I call active learning. Because you share your own experiences. Okay, to tell you honestly, I learned many things from you. I learned many things from you. Nakikinig po kami sa likod, pero yung mga share ninyo, I jot it down. Okay, ibig ko sabihin, later on, pagpunta namin sa Lucena, sa April, at sa Imos, magkasunod yun eh, mapapalitan ang, ang aming mga slide kasi we learned from your inputs. Do you get my point there? That's what I call active, active participation. Let your participants or your 30 na iti-training nyo participate. Hindi lang ikaw yung salita na salita, but let them participate. Let them ask questions. Okay? Number three. Sorry. But this is what I'm saying, the level of knowledge. Number three. Image and feedback increases learning. Feedback information given to participants on how well one is doing, you have to give it there, right there and then. Immediate feedback. Halbawa, mamaya, may magtuturo sa inyo about tuberculosis. Pagkatapos doon, mag-feedback po tayo para matututo siya. But take note, yung tao mamaya na magde-demo, hindi lang dapat siya yung matututo. Pero lahat tayo na nakikinig, we will always learn from this demonstration. That's why we call it immediate feedback. Or sa mga, sa mga parokya, di ba? Ang nag-feedback lagi si Father. Ayoko niya. You know feedback ni Father. Hindi. You know feedback ni Father. Ibig sabihin ba ka hindi tugma tuon sa vision ng parokya o sa vision ng diocese? Clear? Take note. Repeat, repeat, repeat to remember. Remember to repeat. Kahit paulit-ulit, 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 kahit paulit-ulit, 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 there will always be something good to remember. There? Repeat, repeat, repeat to remember. Alam niyo po yung sa simbahan? Repeat, repeat lang din naman yun eh. Di ba? Pag nagmimisa ka araw-araw, tatlong taong ka nagmimisa, nakompleto mo na siya. Di ba? Yung cycle. Parehong pare. Alam ko na iyong homily ni Father. Memorize mo na. <laughs> Pero, kahit alam mo na, tumitin mo pa rin sa puso yun. You remember it kasi tumihin mo siya. Alam ko sa sabihin ni Father. So you know it. Learning is increased also during facilitation when instruction is individualized. I repeat, Learning is increased when instruction is individualized. Kasabihin mo, uh, Cynthia, o oh, ito ang gagawin mo. So may mga teacher talaga na pumupunta doon sa mga estudyante kung ano ang gagawin. That's individual learning. Okay? Number five, positive motivation is essential for learning to take place. Dapat, kung gusto mong matuto, there is positive motivation. And the greatest motivation there is your love. Love for your family, love for God, love for neighbor. Okay? 
Now, what's then the summary of the learning principle of facilitation? One, it must be performance-based. Two, active participation. Three, immediate feedback. Instruction is individualized. And the last is, there is positive motivation. Dapat mong ganda yung disposition o yung rason niya, rason niya kung bakit gusto niya matuto. Okay. Now, a facilitator is expected to ask questions and talk to participants. Kung ako yung facilitator, kaya ako nagtatanong. Sino dito ang gusto pumunta ng Roma? Damn. Sino dito ang gusto pumunta ng Holy Land? Damn. Sino dito ang gusto manan ng, ng uh, uh, loto? Hindi ba na kahit hindi ka tumatay mo lang nato ka ng loto? Kahit mo lang kaya, maniwala ka. Now, these are some questions. You have to ask questions. And let the participants, you know, talk. Katulad ng ginawa natin. Sino gusto mo nalang ng loto? Pahans, hindi mo kami tumatay ako, di ba? That's already participation. Okay? So, na nahuli mo tuloy yung hindi tumatay ako, yung mga tumatay ako. <laughs> Who you wish ya? Diba? Anong, anong game of na naro nyo? 645 or 649? Alam na alam ko, huli nyo ako! Okay? Huli nyo ako, tumataya ako. Now, ay pwede hindi ko po ako kalo kayo. Hindi ko yung maintindihan. Next, as facilitator, you have to give participants any help they need. Okay, that's why I usually tell the participants, participants, kung may kailangan kayo, just raise your hand. Okay? Now, what are the three basic, important parts of facilitation? One, you have to instruct. Two, you have to motivate. And three, you have to manage. Ulit, IMM. Instruct, motivate, and manage. When I talk of instruct, make sure that participants understood it. Kaya kayo na sinabi ni Sir Mario, ayaw kong umalis na hindi lahat nakakaintindi. Naintindihan ba ng lahat? That is instruction. Okay? Next, there must be prompt assessment of each participant's work and provide guidance how to correct responses. Tapat yan, you, you check it right away. Baka yung instruction mo hindi klaro, or what you said is not clear, then you have to check it right away or assess it. You apply correction. How about when you try to motivate? Motivate means compliment. And when I say compliment, compliment participants for correct answers, improvements, or progress. Sabi mo, well, tama ang sinabi mo, congratulations. Very good. That's what I call motivate. Okay. Ano pa? Walang maling, walang maling sagot dito. Lahat naman ng kwento natin ay tama. Motivate them. Lahat ng mga magaganda, sumagot. Lahat naman kayo magaganda. Motivate. Naniwala naman kayo. <laughs> Ang tawag na doon, motivate. Okay. And make sure that there are no major obstacles for learning. Motivation. Katulad na mahirap pag nilagay natin itong training na to sa labas. At doon tayo sa ilalim na araw. Hindi kayo motivated to learn. Pero dito, we are motivated to learn. Diba? Inaantok ka, oh, may kape. Diba? Hindihan ito ka pa rin magkapit, mag-exercise. Okay? That's how to motivate them. Next one. How about manage? Manage is, you have to plan ahead and prepare all supplies and materials needed. Kaya kayo, pagbalik ninyo sa parokya ninyo, meron na dapat kayong plano. 
Halimbawa, kung ako na itigas ng Pablo Cathedral, and there are 16 barangays there, meron kang 30 na target mong volunteers, dapat yan, may volunteer ka from each barangay. Papaplanuhan mo yun. Sino? You cannot just get anyone. But you get now, you see inside ng chapel leaders or coordinators. Sila itutrain mo ngayon. Kasi they know how to speak, they know how to motivate, they know how to instruct. Okay? Next, make sure that movements within the classroom are efficient. Katulad nito, yung iba, tumatayo. Kanina, pagkatapos ng misa natin, napasin ko, anin, tumayo talaga kaagad. Lahat sila papunta sa kanan. <laughs> Pagkatapos ng misa, napansin ko lang. Sabi ko sa isip-isip ko, nagpipigil kanina pa. Maraming na inong natupil. And of course, you try to monitor. This is very, very important. Monitor the progress of each participant. Now, on the part of the diocese and healthcare, this is what you will be doing. Management. Okay? Clear? Now, in facilitating learning, the trainees learn best when they participate in the training. And you have to encourage the involvement of each participant. Okay? What else? Facilitation skills help the facilitator obtain feedback from the learners. And take note, there must be breaching of the gap between the facilitator and your participants. Naiintindihan ba nila yung content versus the learners? Okay? And take note, there are different facilitation skills na dapat, alam ko ginagawa nyo na rin, I saw you a while ago. Attending, listening, observing, and question. Or the alok. Alok. Attending, listening, observing, and question. Okay. Now, what are our attending skills of facilitation? Pay attention to your learners. Kung ako po nagpa-facilitate dito, yung iba dito sa inyo, aantokin na. Sigurado ako. Dahil sa position ng inyong katawan. Pag ako ay sensitive, ay sinasabi ko lang yung aking nakikita ngayon. Yung iba, malapit ng makatulo. <laughs> diba? Isang, isang, uh, how don't, isang bulati na lang ang uh, hihimas sa'yo at sabi mo, matulog ka na. Okay? You should be attending skills. Pag ang mga estudyante, I, I should tell this, sa tinuturo ko dati mga mga doctors po. Pag ang estudyante, nakaupo sa gilid ng upuan, abay, ano yan? Quick yan, attentive. Pag sila naman, naka, yung likod ay nasa likod na ng upuan, relax yan, and they're there. Pero, pag yung estudyante, naglagay na ng kamay sa likod, at nakali, ready to sleep na yan. Pero habang attentive siya, nagyunun siya ng kamay, may gustong sabihin yun. So you should be very, very what? Attentive. Sa mga movements, even ang katawan. Ayoko po gawin ito ngayon sa inyo, pero habang tinitingnan po sa inyo, habang tinitingnan po kayo, yung mga iba, nagkukunwari na may sinusulat. Yung mga iba, kanyang kanyari may golpe, pero nakagano'n. Okay? Attending skills. Siguro kaya po ako natanggal sa formation. Bago po ako napunta sa CPCP, ako po ay formator ng mga seminarista. Marami na tanggal na seminarista. Okay? 
at pinapunta namin sila sa kapilya para magkasal. Okay. Let's build rapport with the learners. Build rapport. Don't create a block so that you can get the heart of your learners. And sometimes, it's good to prepare where you will be. Halimbawa, nung ako'y pupunta ng Laguna, nag-research mo na ako tungkol sa Laguna. May masarap na sumat sa Laguna. Kaya sa inyo nang halang ako, wala bang sumat ng Melenda, patapos na yung training. Buti na lang, naglabas sila. Diba? Banda dito, merong ano, masarap na buko pa eh. Tama ba yun? The original, di ba? Or ladies, so see? So, you have to research. You have to know, get the rapport. Di ba? Next, communicate the learners as value. Kayo ang pinaka-importante dito, hindi ako. You are very, very important, not me. You can still learn without me. And of course, we try to enable observation of learners' responses. Encourage learners to interact verbally. That's why some of you, okay, ito lang ha, some of you are good verbal or communicators here. You raise your hand. Some are very, very silent. Silence of the lambs. Silence. Pero, I do believe that you are sent here because you are capable. Ganoon naman talaga yun eh. Di ba kahit na sa meeting, may mga maboka, may mga hindi ka. Meron talaga ganoon. May mga lagi nagsasalita. Ako may natutunan ako eh. Kung ayaw mo magkamali, huwag ka magsalita. No talk, no mistake. Less talk, less mistake. Yan ay mensal ko sa mga chismoso chingosa. Next one. Listening skills. Listening skills are very, very important because we verify the trainee's understanding of the information. Listen. And aside from that, They demonstrate the facilitator's understanding of the learner's perspective. Listening skills. Hindi na ginagamit ko yung mata ko on how I observe you, but I also use my, what? My ears. Okay? Clear? Yung active listening, that's very, very important. And of course, I use feedback, which I am using now. Katulad nung sinabi ko, yung iba po sa inyo, nakakatulog, that's feedback already. Gusto mo kayo makisay. Kaya ko po sinabi yun. Kasi siyempre, mahihiya ka. Yung iba po sa inyo, uh, malapit na makatulog, siyempre, iba, ah, ako yun na. Grabe yung konsensya. <laughs> Ginising ka ng iyong konsensya. Okay. Next, observing skills helps you assess how training is being received. Okay. Next one. By looking the learner's face, body position, and body movements. Observing skills. Okay. Yung iba nakaganyan, aha, interested. Pero yung iba nakaganyan, ah, you cannot come at the proper <laughs> Body movements. And of course, It helps you decide whether to continue the learning process as planned. Kasi kung ako, kasubihin ko lahat kayo inaantok, oh, higil mo na tayo dito, lahat tayo tumayo. Takbo tayo papunta sa swimming pool. Okay? So, pwede gano'n. Itigil mo na natin as planned, but we awaken first ourselves. Okay? And the last there is what I call questioning skills. This helps determine what the learners know and be directed what they need to learn. Invites learner participation involvement and of course it provides feedback on how the training is being received. That's why questions are very, very important. Okay? Including proper assessment. Summary. 
I usually place this somewhere. One, a facilitator is an instructor, a motivator, and a manager. A facilitator performs attentive skills, listening skills, observing skills, and questioning skills. Our facilitation skills. Okay. Let me go to using communication materials. Obvious kayo ha? Okay. Let me go to communicating and that is with the use of materials or job aids. Carlo, let me pay me. Wala po kayo nito. Wala po. Maikli lang po ito. Maikli lang siya. Tutuluan lang na, I will just introduce to you how will you make use of job aids or visual aids. Kasi pag minsan, meron naman tayong lahat ginagamit but we don't know how to use it properly. Okay? Now, now, in using communication materials or job aids, this makes an effective use of communication relating to TV clients that would contribute to better treatment outcomes. That when you instruct patients about tuberculosis or when you give TB education, that is a very, very important tool because imagine you don't have any visual aid. You don't have any visual aid. Wala kang hawa, wala kang powerpoint at ang sasalita ka, ang tuberculosis. But, yun lang. Diba? But some are very, very effective because they make use of what? Images. When they talk, they make use of images. And for me, one of the masters of images is our Pope. Pope Francis. He is really a master of images. Look at what he says. All his message, messages, it's about images. mag imagine oo nga, no? Soldiers, have you know, strength. It's all about images. And sometimes, these images becomes now your own, what, job, eh? Okay? What else? Your materials that you are using, no? provides knowledge about basic concepts okay, of discommunication or TB. Okay, this is my objective. And what is very, very important in communication, you can communicate one-on-one -on -one approach, meaning you and the client or the TB patient or the presumptive TB, or you can have a group approach, meaning you being the facilitator, or you can have it in a group like this. Okay. How do we talk to TV clients? Simple and clear. Simple and clear. Katulad ng ginawa natin kahapon in your TV, may lahat na kaintindi. But, if, I, if you, I will be giving a talk to a convention of doctors, I will not make use of these slides. Aantokin sila. Okay? Simple and clear. Use your language and words that client understands. Alay, uh, inuubo ka na eh. Diba? Pag yun yung mga tiga San Pablo, tama ba? Ha? Ay, baga. Naubo ka baga? Naubo ka baga? Ilang lindo na baga ang iyo ko baga? Kumusta na ang iyong baga? Baga. Baga. You make use of their language or the language that they would understand. Okay. Alay. Okay. Next, use visual aids. Visual aids. Katulad na, it's very difficult when you say this word. 
parenchyma lesions of the right upper lobe of the lungs. CXR, what do you mean? Chest X-ray. Oh, see, it's not just what it is. Chest X-ray. MDRTB, multi-drug resistant. Morbidity, mortality, hemoptysis, thoughts. Ito medyo malalalim. Pero pag sasabihin mo in your own words, can you give me the meaning of this? Thoughts. Tutok, gamutan. Hemoptysis. Tugusa. Dura o pagkaumubo, yung iyong dura o yung iyong tema ay may mortality. Pagkamatay, morbidity. Pagkakasakit. CXR. X-ray na? X-ray ng baga. Pero hindi niya, di ba? Okay. Why use visual things? One, it holds attention of your audience. Am I right? Pag gumagamit ka ng visual aid, nakakatawag pansin. Katulad dito, pag ito tinakpang ko, wala akong visual aid, ako lang ang tinitinan nyo. Nakakatawag pansin ba? Hindi. Pero pag ito, pinabas ko, then that is my visual aid. 